Okay, it cut off again. If I tilt the thing, it'll cut off. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, the truck looks better than it did. I mean, it's still, it's a half-hour's job. Uh, spray foam is not the proper way of doing things. Well, you know, I might have to put a little bit of something on there in order to get that paint to come off. Oh, yeah, what I'll do. I've got some very fine grit sandpaper. You don't want to use anything too, uh, too heavy duty. I've got some fine grit stuff. Um, yeah, I'll go down to the camp and I'll get it. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it's an adventure, you know, doing this kind of stuff. It is. Let's go down here. Rocky will be down here. We'll see him. This thing turned into a bigger performance than I thought it was going to be, but still, it's all right. It's okay. That happens. I don't think I've ever done anything with a vehicle that didn't turn out to be a bigger thing than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, if I take some real, really, really fine grit sandpaper. Hi, Rocky. Hey, you. Hi. Hey. I love you. I got a big bug flying around me. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, here we go now. There we go. That's what I want. That stuff right there. That stuff right there. That's like a... 320 grit. That'll be fine. I'll just pass it over it lightly and that'll take that black right off without screwing up the white paint underneath. Yeah. All right. Here we go now. <laughs> My goodness. I'm kind of hungry. I haven't eaten yet because this turned into a bigger ordeal than I thought it was going to be. And I'm working tomorrow, so I need to get it done today. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey. What a crazy situation. Okay, here we go now. Oh. All right, here we go now. Watch this. Or maybe don't watch it. Maybe it ain't going to work. There we go. No, it's working. It's working. I did get some overspray. I should have done more masking tape than I did, I guess. That's my mistake. I don't do body work every day, though. <laughs> and this even, I don't even think qualifies as body work. This is like a butcher job. But still, they should take this paint off without any problem. Very gentle. Very gentle. Yeah, it's taking it off. It's not hurting the white paint underneath. For some reason, up here it's all crackled. But that'll be from the previous person, whatever they did here. Somebody did kind of a half hour body job on this thing prior to me having it. And now I'm just kind of improving on their, um, on their, uh, poor technique. Doing my own poor technique of body work here. <laughs> anyway, here we go now. Very, very lightly. Very light. My old friend Tom Kerr, he told me one time that back in the 1950s, he bought a 1938 Plymouth. And the paint on the 38 Plymouth, it was a, a blue colored car, but the paint was all weathered 
and so it was really dull. And it just had this really dull look to it, like there was no life in it at all. And um, his wife went out and she took a bottle of Windex and a rag, like Windex window cleaner and a rag. Who's here? And she went over the whole car, spraying it with Windex and buffing it up with a rag. And the paint came right back. She said it was just shiny, just like new. And she got finished with it. Yeah, there we go now. All right. Well, this ain't 100%. None of this is 100%. But my goal really is just to seal it up and to make it look halfway as decent, at least from a distance, so that I don't have additional rust coming along too quickly. You can see where I where I oversprayed it, though. You can, you can see that. There you go, right there. You can see where it's oversprayed. But again, we just take the white paper here, the, the very fine sandpaper. <laughs> there he is. He's my best friend. He comes to help me with all my jobs that I do around here. Anytime I'm working around here, Rocky's right by my side helping me. He's a pretty good little guy. Right. There we go now. Like I say, it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be all right. I really should have done a better job masking it, though. I kind of regret that, because I screwed up a bit that way. But anyway. Hi, Rocky. All right. Now, let's start pulling masking tape off here. take the stuff maybe this it just takes it right off that line there you can see the line where the masking tape is yep. hey you all right we're gonna throw that away oh garbage here masking tape is sticky of course because it's tape 